I definitely overpack. Thank you. You can go. This is a look for the tube review on my. besties welcome back to another video vlog i hope you all are doing well if you are new here i am sheree welcome if you happen to be returning you are truly appreciated thank you so much and welcome back besties today we are talking about my vacation fragrances yes if you know you know you guys if you're not following me on instagram you missed the whole entire trip and i tried to you know be there with you together i vlogged a little bit of the trip but i instagram the whole entire thing so if you're not following me on instagram pause the video come over say hi slide in the dm and if you are not a member if you're not a member if you're not subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button right now over here we like to have a good time positive vibes only we talk about fashion beauty luxury lifestyle all things fabulous dueling. So if that sounds like your vibe, something you'd be into, hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, and we are jumping into this vlog right now. So here's what happened, you guys. We got there, and I got my phone here because like I said, I did a play-by-play -play of everything in my phone. I couldn't be bothered to bring out the camera. I brought it out, hold on, my necklace is all over the place, and I feel like I need some lip gloss. This is real chill. This is like, like I said, this is Sheree's style of a vlog, story time, what have you. The lip Dior oil, everything. Uh, I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but if you are a part of the Insider or the a Rouge member or VIB, you can get 20, 15, or 10% off. Now's the time to stock up. I already got like four of them in my cart. I'm trying new colors this time. Anyways, yes, so we did take a trip to Maui. It was beautiful, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, we flew over the water. I was so nervous, I was so scared. So upon me actually flying, getting ready, heading to the plane, we did like an overnight, like a red eye. My fragrance of choice was Alien. I've been talking about this like crazy, you guys. I absolutely love it. It's nothing new, it's vanilla, it's coconut, it's tropical. In my opinion, it's sexy. I was sitting next to my guy. We were flying to the island, so I thought it was only right, so this is what I chose to wear. It's stayed on me the whole entire time. I tell you, I spray heavy, but not heavy enough to disturb somebody if they were gonna be sitting next to me, but definitely heavy enough that if I need to and do one of those numbers because they don't smell that fresh, I can still be, you know, I can still smell myself. So this right here is Alien Goddess. This is the original. I definitely rocked this and it was really good. So this was my first scent of the trip. So then we got there. Uh, the airport looks really different. I was like, what in the world? I don't think I've seen carpet in an airport in a minute. And I've been to a lot of airports. I don't know, maybe I just never looked at the ground. But as you got off uh, and you went out to your, um, you know, out the terminal or what have you, they greeted you with the song that said welcome to Maui that was really cute everybody stood over there took pictures by it I was like looking like why so I'm like I'm not even I'm not even setting myself up like that let me tell you one thing about me when I'm flying I'm not there to look cute I mean I'm gonna always look cute it is what it is but I'm just saying it's gonna be a hoodie it's gonna be some sweats I don't fly in open toes I don't fly in sandals I don't want my feet my body my skin nothing about me touching that plane I wrap my hair up I put my hoodie up um, I put sweats on, I put socks, I put tennis shoes, boots, some type of something. I don't want to touch the plane. I have Perel, I have bleach wipes, sanitizer sprays, all type of stuff. It's like, I remember I was sitting by one lady and she was like, are you just going to clean the entire plane? I was like, look lady, we're going to be in here for about six hours. I need to know that I'm not sitting in somebody else's. I don't know that part about flying gets me sometime about anything you guys I do have a little bit of a germaphobe anyways I move on so we took an uber we arrived at the hotel the property was absolutely gorgeous it was beautiful there was so many fresh flowers so many palm trees you know I love palm trees these palm trees were groomed to perfection they were beautiful they were large they were tall it was everything that you see on tv but more we stayed at the four seasons in Wailea and forgive me if I'm saying that wrong I believe it's Wailea we stayed at the four seasons in Wailea Thank you. Thank you. They checked us in. They had impeccable, amazing, top-notch service. And a lot of times when I pick hotels or restaurants or anything like that, I pick where they are going to treat me right. You know what I mean? I know what I'm paying for. I know how it should be treated. So if you don't treat me accordingly, 
you're going to know about it and I'm not coming back. So every time we have stayed with the Four Seasons, Ritz Carlton, any of those type of hotels, it's really been a nice, luxurious stay. And when I'm vacationing, those are the kind of vacations I like to do. So upon walking in, they greeted us with a lay. They whisked us up to the club lounge. They had refreshment. They had drinks. They were telling us about a rum punch. Was it? Oh, no, no, no. That was in Bahamas. It was a Mai Tai. They were offering us, I didn't like it. I'm not that kind. I'm a champagne, wine kind of girl. You know what I mean? So I didn't really like that. We did go to another restaurant and try another one. It was okay. I'll tell you about that. So anyways, we were there. Uh, the things that really stood out in the trip, you guys, I have to say this. And I know if you've been watching the channel, you're like, girl, I am so sick of you talking about that sunscreen. This sunscreen right here, it stood out. If you are going on vacation and you need something that is going to hydrate your skin, moisturize your skin, you can wear it as a primer. You can wear it like mixed with your foundation to make like a tinted moisturizer. You can wear it on its own. It's going to give you a dewy finish. You guys know how I feel about the sun. The sun is not my friend. And when I say that, I'm not saying it lightly at all. Like seriously, if I would show pictures, which I will throughout the video, I'm covered from head to toe. I have a hat on. Heading out for the day. I'm gonna do some walking and some shopping. And in this walk, I'm gonna be in the sun. So you already know the sun is not my friend. It's just that serious. I have to be that covered. Um, but I wanna share this sunscreen with you. You know, I tell you about Super Goop all the time because I absolutely love it. Um, they had two new shades that I seen. They had a shade called Sunrise, which was a little bit lighter. And it kind of, it didn't leave a white cast. It just didn't go with me as well. But they had this color called Sunset. Girl, are you getting that right? Yes, yeah, Sunset SPF 40 Glow Screen. This right here is absolutely everything, you guys. When I tell you, don't look at the pimple on my face. When I tell you, and I have um, sand on my face. I just finished yoga on the, oh my God, I gotta put it right here. Yoga on the beach, so I got sun everywhere. It is so good, it is so pretty. It glistens, it glides on. It's like, it's awesome. If you have not tried Super Goop. I have sunglasses on. I have a jacket, like a really light windbreaker kind of jacket where it wasn't really heavy. It was just protecting me from the sun. And I had this on and I had no breakouts. And we were there for like days, like a week. And I was hiking on days outside for like 10 hours. I did yoga on the beach. I did all these amazing things outdoors. And this sunscreen kept me protected when we came home. I was expecting to have some blotches or some new patches from like the sun damaging me or what have you or I was expecting to have like some flare ups or from my eczema, girl, guy, nothing. So I am vouching for Super Goop, Glow Screen, SPF 40, and I'm in the shade Sunset. Like I said, they have two new, I believe colors right now. I could be making that up. One is called Dawn. I could be making that up, but this one is called Sunset. And they have Sunrise and then they just have the oil one. So this was huge. The other thing I wore was this Lip Dior oil, as I mentioned to you, that's really all I wore. I didn't even really need any makeup. I don't even know why I took a whole big old makeup case. I thought I was trying to get out there and be cute and sexy, put my lashes on, but no, I didn't need any of that. I was like, what are you doing? I could have left this at home. Good morning, beautiful besties from Maui. Oh my God, you guys, it's so gorgeous. This is the property at the Four Seasons and it is super, super gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And my battery is dead. It's dying. Let me charge it and I'll come back. The thing that sounds amazing is the birds and the continuous waves of the water. Which is like absolutely crazy. I leave the door open and sleep at night or in first thing in the morning just to hear the birds chirping and um the water, the waves from the water is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go down today, see if I can get some, you know, something up close so that I can share that with you guys. I just have not been picking up the camera. It, it's been on my phone because, you know, it's a lot of sand. It's a lot of dirt. I don't want to risk, you know, breaking the camera or anything. So I'm probably going to try and get it on the camera, but I'll probably get it, most of it on my phone. But this is the adult pool right here. You see those cabanas down there? So that is like an adult pool um they wanted to build something where you know people that were not having children or you know more of a honeymoon vacation type they this was the last part of the property that they built uh, i believe within the last 10 years so it is a beautiful pool we're going to go down there today and get a cabana and hang out <clears throat> but yeah i've just been having the best time of my life you guys i have spent so much time outside okay and my skin is 
skinny the the residue from the blemishes from my eczema and this one pimple is like whatever but I mean the skin is is thriving it's not humid here it's a lot of moisture in the air but it's at a beautiful temperature of about 70 so oh my gosh it's just been everything and look at the greenery I think I do really well with greenery and to be honest there hasn't been many bugs huh <clears throat> there hasn't been many bugs here at least I haven't seen them okay wait a minute wait a minute I was attacked by red ants yesterday at yoga because I did yoga on the beach um and on a towel and these ants did attack me it, they just I don't know what it was they, they liked me for some reason I probably smelled good yep that's what it was okay I'm gonna hit you back bye I definitely overpacked I took way too many clothes everything in my suitcase I didn't even wear I took like five or six days worth of workout clothes tennis shoes um, and I took all these lounge outfits going out to dinner going out shopping I took I was in like my workout clothes and like lounge clothes the whole entire trip. There was no need. Everything was really calm. It was really laid back. It was really ocean vibes and just waves. You know what I mean? It was just like real calm, cool, collective. It was real chill. Even when we went up, they were like, oh, you know, it's real laid back here. Like if we didn't have all the activities planned, I don't know what we would have done because it was so calm, so cool, and so relaxing that I never relaxed that much. I was like, oh my gosh, like what are we going to do? I gave myself a schedule. I was like, I'm getting up. This is a look for the walk today. Protected from the sun from head to toe. Literally. Look how beautiful it is, guys. Gorgeous. Sunscreen up in the face. Super goop. Check out my Instagram. I'm telling you all about it. Even though there was a huge time difference, you guys know I go back and forth. But anyways, even though there was a huge time difference, I kept getting up as if I was still in LA. So it would be like 4.30 in the morning and 5.36, I think it was 7.30 here. So yeah, I kept getting up. So I didn't really have a huge jet lag problem. So I was staying with that time. So I really didn't get tired. I kept myself busy. I was taking tons of walks. Like I said, I did yoga on the beach. When I did yoga on the beach, I wore Tom Ford Soleil Nage. I shared that with you guys. This is one that I wore a couple of years ago when I went to the Ritz Carlton and did a run on the beach. My guy and I got up early this morning. We did yoga on the beach. I came down with my yoga mat, my bag, and the lady was like, what are you doing? She's like, you don't need that yoga mat. You can put your bag to the side. She goes, we're going to do it on a towel. Now, you guys, mind you, I haven't taught yoga nor taken yoga in forever. So I'm back there, and I don't know. I had this on, but then before I left uh, to head down for the class, I sprayed something else on, but I can't recall what it was. I shared it in another video, so I had on, like, two fragrances. I'm back there in Shavasana. I'm getting ready to get my entire life. All of a sudden, I feel something crawling on me. Now, you already know I don't do well with being outside, but I was trying to take one for the team. I was trying to, you know, be an adventurous gal. So I'm outside. Uh, something was crawling on me. I look, girl, guy, why were there ants everywhere? Big, gigantic red ants. They were just all over. Everybody else, you guys, was like really calm. They were just like, oh, an ant. <laughs> oh, an ant. <laughs> me, I was like, oh, my God, there's ants everywhere. <laughs> The teacher, the instructor was like, oh my gosh, do you want to come up here? Maybe there's less ants up here. I'm like, no, I don't want to come up there. I don't care about there being less ants. I don't want no ants. That's why we should have did it inside where they don't have ants. But I stayed there. I endured it. I mean, I did a lot of stuff out of my comfort zone. And then what else did we do? Oh, I went on a hike. I went hiking through the bamboo rainforest. All right, here we go. The hike continues. If this... It's not out of my comfort zone. I don't know what is. Oh, gosh. The treadmill nor the Stairmaster prepared me for this. Shoot. It's real life. And I made the hike. Did it. Woo! Gosh. We did it. Oh. oh, it's good. So this is where the hike started, down through the cave, and I made it bamboo forest, or bamboo forest, you already know. We 
went on um, a trip. I had scheduled a private tour uh, for us to go to the road to Han. The road to Hana. My guy really wanted to go there. He went, really wanted to go to the black sand beaches. I gotta go underneath. Hold on. He wanted to go to the black cave. He wanted to hike up to the top. He wanted to do all this stuff. And I was like, okay, you guys. Like, when we, to be honest with you, real talk, and like I said, I'm gonna be inserting pictures. When we got to the road to Hana, it was a very windy, windy, windy road. So, fine. And we had the coolest driver ever. Uh, his name was Charlie. So, shout out to you, Charlie. Hey, boy, hey. Um, but yeah, so. He was like the coolest guy ever. And he was like, my daughter does it. You could do it. My daughter. I'm like, your daughter might be a lot more of interest than me. So we got there and they had already started hiking down the, um, down the, 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 what was it? Like a cave, a forest or something. And I was picking up a stick. Cause I was like, well, if I see something, I need to protect myself. And if I get ready to fall, at least I'll have a stick or something. So he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm getting a stick. And my guy's like, you don't need a stick. Put the stick down. He was like, just climb through here. I was like, climb through where? He was like, climb through this hole. And then Charlie was like, yeah, come on down through the hole. Do what now? <laughs> Wait a minute. Say what now? And I did it. I mean, they held my hand at first. And then I was like, okay. And I was like, I've been working out. I've been hitting the gym. Like, I'm prepared. I'm ready for this. I ain't new to this. Like, I, I do this. I didn't do that. I, did, I didn't do that. That was not the same thing. It was totally different. I have my phone here. I got a message. I just, I digress. I come back. Anyways, um. So I started going down, I'm going through the forest, I'm doing everything like that. I'm wanting to get some pictures. I'm videotaping the whole thing. One of you guys on Instagram was like, girl, how you hiking through a bamboo forest and you got your Louis Vuitton bag on? I was bringing a bag, you know what I mean? I, I gotta be ready, I had a fragrance in there. I had my sunscreen in there. I had like, you know, my stuff in there. So I did have like a crossbody on. I had my LV bag with me. It did stud through the test of time. I fell three times during the hike. Um, I fell one time on the beach. It was just, it was a mess. But it's all right. I've been hit with a flu, but I, I, I'm, I'm I. Right. So that's what I put on Instagram. It was really fun. I made it through. By the time it was over, I was like, okay, no treadmill, no uh, stairmaster, no running, no weights. None of that had prepared me for what that hike was going to bring. But I was super proud of myself because I did it. They had some of the most amazing, beautiful waterfalls there. They were absolutely gorgeous. We had a, a view overlooking the property of the hotel as well as out to the ocean. So I would take my computer out there some days. I would get some work done. I was still editing. I was still communicating. I was still chatting with the besties on Instagram and YouTube. So that was really fun. But yeah, it was just a beautiful trip. Um, I took my whole thing of fragrances. You guys know I tell you all the time. I take this with me. I had, a, oh shoot, I just dropped it. I had Electric Cherry. It stole the show. I definitely rocked this one night to dinner. We did go to a luau. And if you, I know, I sound like a broken record. If you follow me on Instagram, we went to a beautiful luau. Very nice. This is the Andas, how they're doing things. Thank you. How beautiful she is. Oh, thank Aloha. You. You thank you.
wanted to wear something kind of fresh, something kind of airy, something kind of bright. So I told myself, um, you know, what do you want to wear? Because it was outside. It, the weather was perfect the whole entire time we were there. It was about 70. You know, it didn't get over 70. And another thing is that I didn't see really but one fly the whole time. Because I don't like being outside, but I was thinking like with us having a luau and eating outside and everything, if there were going to be bugs, but I really didn't see any. I'm trying to think of what fragrance I wore. This is a fragrance I wore 90% of the trip. This is by Bulgari. This is a fragrance that I wore 90% of the time, if you guys can see this. And this is by Bulgari. It's halfway gone and I'll put the name of it on the screen. This is my Hawaii Maui vacation fragrance. Oh my God. It's you guys, this right here is absolutely beautiful. This is, I might need a full bottle of this. I probably will get a full bottle of this. This is absolutely beautiful. This is what I wore for 90% of the trip. We went to a restaurant, a restaurant called Spago's for dinner one night. I wore, and I didn't get no pictures. I didn't get any pictures of me at all. Even when I was on Instagram, it was like, very much, what are you doing? You know what I mean? It wasn't that kind of trip. I wasn't, I wasn't bead. I wasn't, I didn't have outfits. It was no fits. I could share with you what fragrance I wore because I'm going to put a fragrance on anyway. Even to sit in the house and eat a bowl of cereal, I'm going to put a fragrance on. So I'm sharing with you my fragrances. Maybe the next trip I'll get fits and different stuff like that. It wasn't that kind of trip. It was real chill. I was in black leggings, my orange tennis shoes, a tank top, and my windbreaker every single day, 90% of the trip. That's just what it was. I did walk. My most important thing was to not gain weight, but to eat, <laughs> but to eat sensibly and then try new things, but then go for a walk. So that was my whole trip. Let's work out. Let's work out. My guy's like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's 7 30 in the morning. Let's work out. But this fragrance right here was amazing. Electric cherry was amazing. What else did I take? And I wear, and I wore, you already know whenever I go on vacations, I always take my samples with me. I had this sample pack from Mind Games. It's really bright. You guys probably won't even be able to see it, but I had this sample pack from Mind Games. I wore, and my guy wore it as well, which is Checkmate. This is absolutely amazing. If you have not got this, I would highly recommend it. You can pick it up at Soa Vanguard. I don't believe I have a discount code for it. It's regular price, but this is where it's at. It's really good. They have so many amazing ones. So I did play with that one. Um, what other one did I find that really stuck out? Cassia. That was really nice too. I have a whole video on my channel, but you guys, this is a great way to try and explore fragrances before you buy them. I also took with me, and if it's still on sale and you haven't checked it out yet, I would highly recommend checking it out. This is the one that I have with Sense Gift, and it has all of the fragrances in there. And my guy totally... Ugh. He probably used up all of my Tibet. Inside of here, we have Sunset Hour. We have Vain and Naive Tibet, uh, Ruby Orchid, and Musk Therapy. Musk Therapy mixed with anything cherry or fruity, black currant syrupy is a good day. It is a good day and it is a good vibe. It is all good. So if you haven't picked up this uh, discovery set and you want to try some spring summer fragrances before you buy them, check it out. I do have a discount code. I took this with me. I was asking in another video, and I want to ask you guys this, because I was listening to my friend on here, Bowtie Guy. Shout out to you, Bowtie Guy. He was saying when he goes on vacation, he likes to take full bottles. And I was like, dang, I always take like decants and samples, but it would be really nice to take, you know, nice full bottles because I can get like content. I could take pictures with them. I could take pictures out by the sunset with them. I could have took some of them down to the beach. I could have took some of them um, down to the... Uh, pool. I could have just did, you know, different content with it. Anyways, let me know what you think. I'm always afraid to take them one because they can make my suitcase heavier. Two, I don't want them to break. And I have heard horror stories about people breaking their or shattering their bottles inside of their suitcase and it wasn't a good look. So I'm always, um, you know, thinking about like, how would I, how would that work? Like, do I really want to take a full bottle? I don't think I want to be bothered. I decanted some of this Rose Plus Honey from Michael Mulu. You guys, if you have not checked out this fragrance, you need to. It is spring, summer in a bottle. It's a very pretty fragrance. I decanted a little bit of this. This has that beautiful mister on it. I do have a 20% off discount code for this. This was really good. This is nice. This was like Maui. This is very calm, very pretty. I wore this down a few days when we just went and sat down by the um down by the pool. We hung out. I didn't want to wear anything too floral or too sweet because remember the last time when I was in Cabo, those bees attacked me. So I didn't want to wear anything that was too sweet. I felt that was okay. When I did go to the pool, that's the one that I chose to wear. It was okay. I got in the pool. I took a couple of pictures. I got out of the pool. I put my hair back up, put my hat back on. <laughs> 
and I went and sat out. When I go to the pool, I'm not the kind of girl, and I tell you guys this all the time, I'm not the kind of girl that wants to get in. I'll get in for a little bit, and it was an infinity pool where it looked over, so it was really cute to get a picture. If you've seen that picture on Instagram, you've seen it. If you didn't, here it is right here. Once I got out of the pool, I put my cover up back on and it was time to just order, you know, order some drinks, order some chips, some guacamole, some salsa, um, some truffle fries. I like to sit and do that kind of stuff and scroll my phone or read a book or just lay out and talk to my guys. So those were all the vibes that we created at the pool. It was really, really fun. What else did we do? I need to go through my phone so I can see. I think I told you guys everything. Oh, oh, I went for a massage. I went for a really nice massage. Sandals on, it's spa day. And I'm going in to have hello to a couple's massage. I normally get 50 minute massage. Uh, one day I did 60, but this time we did an 80 minute couple massage. And I was so nervous because I don't like to sit still. Like I don't have the patience to be sitting still that long. But this lady, I forget her name. We had a huge, amazing uh, connection just upon me meeting her, her asking me where I wanted her to like spot treat if there was anywhere, neck, back, shoulders. Well, you know, I've been working, I've been working on my shoulders. So I was like, go ahead and knock them shoulders out. <laughs> so I was telling her the shoulders, the neck, you know, wherever. It's all good. I don't really have any specific places, but she was like, oh my God, I feel such a connection with you. And I was like, oh, you know, people always say that, but I think it's just because I'm kind, I'm nice. I always, you know, I'm kind and nice to people. I feel how you treat others. I feel treat others the way you want to be treated. So I always go out of my way to be really kind and nice, especially when I'm getting the service. If they were really good, I like to tip them. I like to tell them thank you. I take a moment to write a survey, to talk to their manager, to let them know how the experience was amazing, thanks to them. So those are just things that I try and do to help, especially when I'm receiving a service. So our massages were absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, I went to the gym and worked out. That's what I did the whole trip. I went to the gym, I worked. was my gym today you guys and the view is absolutely amazing i mean i'm vacationing but i still had to get my workout in but just look at the view when you walk out but the uh workout room this is just an outdoors workout room they have a complete gym as well but this was the view working out and then they have a whole little i don't know like a boot camp station over here with weights a uh, boxing bag, you know, I love that. Balls, medicine balls, and then um, the ropes. Those are my favorite. So, so getting my workout in. Do you work out on vacation? Let me know. I ate, I went in the club lounge, I hung out, I lollygagged, I went on hikes, and I went shopping. Oh my gosh, the day that I went shopping. Okay, so we started out in Gucci. I did not really like how the lady treated me in Gucci. She didn't treat me bad. Let's be clear. She didn't treat me bad. I just didn't feel the wow factor. You know what I mean? I didn't feel any chemistry. I'm not going to drop no money if I don't feel no chemistry. I don't care. It is what it is. I got to feel what I got to feel if you want me to drop what I'm going to drop. So I didn't drop anything. And besides that, I really didn't see anything in there I wanted. So then I went into Louis Vuitton and I was like, oh my gosh, I've seen these. I don't know. They're like sandals. There's a name for them. I don't know. I'll post them up here. And I was debating between which ones I should get. I was asking you guys, uh, what do you think of these? So I did pick up the one in the monogram canvas. They're really comfortable. I love those. Trying more of the Louis Vuitton fragrances. I think one of you asked me about this one. This was not my favorite this one was really good you already know I have this one this is okay didn't love it but it's okay this one is really sweet kind of like pear vibes I don't know this was good oh this is like a favorite this is really good it's kind of sexy it's classy it's bossy I do like this one I don't own it and I don't think I'm gonna pick it up but it is good Okay, we made it to the other side this one is good but this one right here this is buy worthy for me for me this right here is buy worthy i may be picking this up i don't know i'm gonna do a 45 minute test on my skin and see how i like it but all of these are really good i like the heavier scents this really good we already know about these full youtube review on my and then i did go to prada and i was choosing between two bags and i picked up one of the bags oh my gosh i picked up the triangle bag because i need more what do you, would you say like sporty but at the same time casual kind of bags in my collection i have bags that are dressy and stuff like that but my one 
you know, casual bag that I reached for 90% of the time was my LV canvas that I had with me already. I believe it's called the Eva Clutch. I haven't called fragrance, I mean handbags by their names in forever because I've been talking about fragrance a lot. I'm looking for a really nice pair of sunnies right now. I don't want them too dark. I want some frame, but just a little frame. Of course you already know I want it gold. And then what else did I pick up? Oh, I tried new fragrances in there. I know, I know, I know you guys. I know, I'm trying to stay on task. I tried all the fragrance in there. There was one fragrance that you guys had asked me about. Spell on you, I had tried. The Trap Raves, I had tried. On the Beach, I had tried. But there is a, a new one there and I'll post a picture of it up. I am in love. It smells like a unisex fragrance, definitely. It might even be um, for a man. I don't know, but you know how I feel about it. Wear what makes you happy. This is good, good. Yeah, it's called Imagination. So I tried Imagination. It was really good. I thought I was going to buy it. I immediately picked it up. I smelled it. I sprayed it. And I was like, okay, I'm buying this. But then as I began to go around the store, I was in there for about 45 minutes to an hour or so. I was like, mm, I don't know, I better sit with this a bit, a bit more. It was very fresh and clean. Very nice though, really, really good. But I don't know if I loved it enough to buy it, so I didn't buy it. But yeah, it, for, those of you, for those of you that were asking me what I thought about that fragrance, um, it was really, really good. I also had some of this with me. This was like something that I just wear right out of the shower. I tell you guys about that all the time. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I didn't take the full bottle. I just decanted some. But uh, yeah, I'm on my third one of these already. This is really good. This is like a fresh clean. This is Chanel uh, number one. This is her body mist. This is really, really good. So if you haven't tried this, highly recommend this. I believe you can pick this up at Ulta. This is really good. You can order it from Chanel Beauty online. You can, I don't know what other stores I've seen it in, but I've seen it those two places. So I would highly recommend this. This is like a day-to-day -day easy reach. Definitely, this was really good on the vacation. I think that's really Really it it was a really calm trip it was really calm it was really sexy grown and sexy very laid back very chill vibes it's nice to get away and to get off the grid and to be gone for so long you know what I mean like typically I don't like to be gone that long because I got things to do but we were like you know what we are going to explore we are going to stay a week and we are going to just get off the grid for a little bit I didn't really ever get off the grid you guys I can't I love what I do and I love connecting and talking so that's not my vibe but it did feel good to do something different like I got out of going to the gym every single day some days I did hikes some days I did walks some days I did go to the gym some days I did both the day I did did yoga on the beach that was really nice so I would just say you know if you can get out of your comfort zone a little bit do some things that scare you do some things that you're not familiarized with you're not comfortable with because they really do show you you know so much about yourself and if you start crying I promise you um, and that's what that trip did for me it was not my typical trip. This was another trip that was my guy's trip. My guy uh, picked this trip out. I got a trip coming up that I picked out. Y'all know it when you see it. But this was more him. He wanted to do the road to Hana. He wanted to do, you know, the hike, the black beach, the sand, uh, all of the cave, the just like the hot lava. Um, what was it? The hot lava. Uh, see the volcanoes. He wanted to go and get banana bread. He wanted to go and have lunch with the locals. And so this tour allowed us to do all of that. So we did all of that. And like I said, none of it is something that I would have ever in life said, oh, I want to do this. But I told you, you do different things, you know, especially when you're in a relationship. And I am very happy and grateful for the experience. It was really, really fun. I did stuff I never thought I can do, you guys. I was like in my own head, like climbing up that mountain. I was like, oh my gosh, I had to keep telling myself like girl you're not gonna fall you're not gonna fall you're not gonna fall but you know how you're like I have no idea I have my nails done thank gosh I had had them cut down a little bit because I wouldn't have been able to like you know grab onto stuff but I was able to grab my hands were dirty my sandal I mean my tennis shoes were dirty I had to rinse them off in the in the you know where you walk up to the thing and you have to rinse off and then I had to drink water outside so I had to use public restrooms so I was like oh my god like everything was out of my comfort zone but I could not be happy Happier. And if you ask me if I would do it again in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, because it was that much fun. So that is it, you guys. All the fragrances that I wore on the trip for vacation fragrances, I will have them definitely linked down in the description box below. Thank you so much, besties, for stopping by my channel. And I think I don't like vlogging like this, if I were to be honest, because it's too hard to try and remember everything. But I was trying to be in the moment. 
But yeah, I don't think I'm a blog like this. I don't know. Maybe I'll mix it up. Let me know what you think. I think it's better with a traditional rather regular vlog because this I'm forgetting so much because I'm trying to think about it all at once. Next time, um, we're going on vacation again soon. I have quite a few more vacations coming up. So I am definitely going to, if I'm a vlog, I'm a vlog. If not, they'll be on Instagram. So make sure you come over and follow me on Instagram because that way you can see things when they are happening in real time. Until next time, besties, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous dwellings. Thanks for watching. Bye.